All right, so we're going to continue our work on the view app. So last time when we finished, we, we left this uh, done. The UI was done. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to move forward and we're going to continue working on this. Now, what I would like to do, as you remember, everything that I had on my application is static. As you can see, I created the login page and I you had to change the component on the code and then, you know, on the main app. And I had to keep changing between the views that I want to work on. Now, what I would like to do is not keep this but uh but i would like to have some routes set up so the first thing we're going to see is the login page then we can probably go to the sign up if we would like to we're going to click on a button to go to the sign up page and then we're going to click on i don't know maybe we're going to log in so the login process is going to be is going to be a bit different but what we're going to do is we're just going to hack a, we're just going to hack our way around because we don't have our authentication set up yet that's not something we're going to do in this video and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to you know when we click on sign up uh, on login, what we're going to do is we're just going to redirect to this app and then we're going to start clicking on a list, which is going to display the tasks. Clicking on this is going to display the model that you are seeing right here. This model right here. One thing that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to click uh, I'm not going to handle the change background right here because this is something that I'm going to handle in the U uh, in the view X uh, in the state management. So let's go ahead and get started with this. The first thing you need to do is obviously install, you know, view, uh, view router. And you can, uh, if you would like to, you know, download the file, the view router. I don't, I don't know about you, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use npm. And I'm just going to paste it right here and hit enter. Now, this is going to be pretty simple. I don't think this is going to be a long video. Well, basically what we have to do is we have to go and set up our view router. What we're going to do is we're going to import. So I always like to keep my components, uh, the last thing right here and all the configuration stuff, you know, view stuff. I would like to import that at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import view router. I'm going to do view router like that from, from view router. And what we're going to do is we're going to do view.use and we would like to, uh, to tell view to use the view router that we have. Now, what we're going to do is we have to add some routes. Basically, how we do, do we add routes now? So let's do const routes and this is just an array. So let's do const routes and this is just an array of objects in each one represents a route. So we're going to get, take a look at this in a second. The next thing we have to do, so routes is something, you know, the last thing, it's the route of our application. I just want to show how you can set up view router in Vue.js first. Then what we what we have to do is we have to create a router. So we're going to do a const router. So these are routes and this is router. We're going to do new view router like that. We're going to instantiate that and we're going to pass some parameters. The first thing is the mode and we have uh, we have a couple of modes in, uh, in view router. I'm going to be using history. The next thing is, uh, you know, it's not the next thing. You don't have to follow the exact order that I'm following. But the next thing that you, uh, the the second thing that you can pass is the routes that you're going to be using. I'm going to do routes routes like this. Or if you are using ES6 and you have the same, you have the same variable name routes, you can just do routes like that. And the last thing is the base. So base basically is the base of your application. This is going to be obviously the routes or you know routes of my my application okay so that's how you can set up uh, set it up and it's not gonna work right now what you have to do is pass it to the view instance so we have to do router like that and this is just uh, it means router router like this but uh, but as, you, as I said if you are using ES6 you can just do router like that and it's going to work let's go and see if anything is going to change as you can see we have I don't know what's this it's empty all right, it's empty. Now what we have to do, see if we don't have any errors. Uh, network unavailable. I don't care about network. Unexpected console statement, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, so as you can see, everything is ready and set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up some routes first. So the first thing we're gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna set up is the main entry point to our application. Now I don't, I want to access login via this. And I want to access the sign up page using this or um, I don't know sign up like that and the main application here on my lists and everything will be on the you know on this uh, on the like the root of my application so that's basically the 
the architecture that I'm following or whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing, as I said, um, you know what? I'm going to start with the login and the sign up since they are pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our routes. And as I said, it's an array of objects. So you have to create something that, look like, uh, that looks like an object like that. And the first thing you want to do is give it the path. So the path is going to be how you want to access that. And as I said, I want to use login. The second thing is the component that we are going to mount when we hit that, uh, that path. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to do component and let's go ahead and import our login component. So we're going to do login and let's, as you can see, we don't have that. So what we're going to have to do is import that. As I said, I like to keep all my imports below. So I'm going to do login from uh, components of slash login. If I can just spell out correctly, login like that. I don't think I'm going to need view unless I'm going to need view for, I'm going to need the view loader. I don't know. I'm going to see it. So we're going to see. So that's what we have to do. And one more thing is I'm just going to give it a name and the name, the name is kind of important right here because we're going to be using that in a, I'm going to show you where we're going to be using that. So the name, I'm just going to call this login and I would like, I like to give my routes names. It just makes it, it makes it easier to re, to generate those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do login. As you can see, it's not going to do anything right now. Unless it's going to give me an error. So it's going to give me the same page. What we have to do and is we have to go to the uh, to our app dot view. And as you can see right here, what I'm telling it to do is just load the view, uh, you know, to the, the to do component. What I would like to do is use a, uh, a router view which is going to take whatever component is. So it's going to basically going to look for the path It's going to see this path and it's going to take the component that, that is that corresponds to that path. So component, hopefully I didn't misspell that. It's going to take the login, uh, the login component and it's going to inject that right here in the router view. So you have to use a router view if you have then, you know, if you are using a router, as you can see, indeed, I'm going to get my page right here. So if I get, if I go to any other page, it's basically not going to give me you know right here is not going to give me anything but if i go to login the 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 component that corresponds to this name to this path is the login component so it's going to do that now what i would like to do is on the sign up page i would like to mount the sign up component and you probably guessed it it's pretty easy let's go ahead and create a new object what we're going to do is we're going to call this sign up like that. We're going to uh, we're going to get the sign up uh, component and I'm just going to call this sign up. And let me see do I have sign up. Yeah, I misspelled it. So what I'm going to do is going to I'm going to import the sign up from component of sign up. Okay, nice. Uh, is this the component? Yeah, this is the component. So what we gotta do is absolutely nothing. As you can see, we have the sign up form right here. If I do, if I go to the login, we got the login component, and this means that everything is working fine. One thing that I noticed is these are pretty small. I'm not really so. This is something uh, related to the UI. Obviously, it's not something that that we have to worry about right here. But I just want to make these a little bit wider. So. Let me just do that quickly. So I'm going to go to login and medium four. You know what? Let's make that eight. Whatever. Gonna work. Let's go to the sign up. Let's do the same. Let's do eight. Yeah, this is much better. It was, it was so much compacted that I, yeah, was not comfortable looking at that. So basically we have this. And what I would like to do is set up these two right here. So whenever I click on sign in, I would like it to take me to the sign up, uh, to the login page. It's kind of uh, probably I'm going to have to change it to sign to login instead of sign in. But it doesn't matter. And on the login page, when I click on on sign up, uh, it's sign in. So sorry about that. Let me just fix that real quick. Sign in it should be sign up. So whenever we click on sign up, it should take me to the registration page. So let's go ahead and do that first, since I'm in the component right here. What I'm going to do is on the V button, you can use something pretty cool, which is the two like that. And you can just tell it that I would like to go to the login path like, uh, like that. And it's going to know it's going to make this a link, which is going to redirect. Watch this. If I click, 
actually i made a mistake i'm on the login i want to go to the sign up so i have to do sign up like that now if i click on sign up notice that it's going to take me right there to the sign up page and the route is changing and which means this is working fine if i go back as you can see it's going to take me to the login page that's because i'm using the hist the mode history you know when i when i was setting up this i used the mode history that's where it's useful and there are two other modes i think you can just go ahead and research those if you would like to but as you can see this is pretty simple on the sign up page what i would like to do when i click on sign in i would like it to for the application to take me to the login page so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna go to the sign up as you can see this is pretty pretty easy and uh, with that so sign in what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use two and this is not something specific to view this is something uh, this is something specific to beautify beautify but has this two attribute that you can use and what what i was uh, doing uh, i would like for this to take me to the login page so if i click on sign in you know what let's make it login just for simplicity login if i click on this it's going to take me to login sign up is going to take me right here so register is not going to do much right now of what i would like to do is for when i click on register it's going to do something and then redirect me to the login page but what i'm going to do is it's pretty easy if i so let me just show you how you can do that i'm going to do it for, i'm going to do the same thing for the login page so basically i don't think i'm going to need this let me just make more space uh, where is that button register so register i'm not gonna do two but what i would like to do is trigger a function that is going to do a bunch of stuff and then redirect me to the to the route to the login page so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna handle the click event because whenever i click this i want to trigger something i'm gonna call this uh, register maybe yeah register because we're gonna add some registration code to this what i'm gonna do is just out of so just a precaution i'm going to prevent the default behavior i don't think i'm going to need that but i'm going to do it anyways now, what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to create the register function and inside here what i can do is i can use this router if i use the dollar sign dot router i can use the push function which is going to push and change the url that i'm currently in and i would like to go to the login page so i can do login like that and i can even use the name if i would like to i can use like uh, the route the route name if i if i want to but for now i'm just trying to keep things very simple i would like to go to this url so just do that uh, where, where i'm going to use the name is in case i wanted to generate the urls that has parameters and are complex so instead of concatenating everything i would like to pass a parameter and let your router generate that for me so in this case if i click on register as you're going to notice it's going to take me to the login page and it's not using two it's using this code which is you know basically it's pro, pro programmatically doing that for me okay and now i'm gonna go to the login page and i'm gonna do the same now i would like for this not to redirect me to the to to sign up what i would like to do is redirect me to this page which is going to be global and it's gonna it's gonna render the to do app so let's go to login and let's do the same thing so i'm gonna go to login page uh, uh to the login button i'm gonna do click dot prevent you know just prevent the, the default behavior for absolutely no reason let's do login static login makes sense and i'm gonna i'm gonna create um methods so methods and let's create a login like that and what we're gonna do obviously is this i think i made some methods mm, this is looking sketchy so let me just see probably something right here yeah i forgot to close this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this router and i'm going to push where i'm going to push obviously I, if i can just spell push correctly i would like to i would like to push to the main page which i'm going um, the main route you know the root route if you would like to call it so which i'm going to create right now so let me just show you that if i go to the login page and i click on login it's going to take me to that empty page now so far so perfect now what we have to do is create the route for the login for the to do uh, to do component i don't know what i said now what we have to do is create the route for the to do component now there isn't much complicated about this all we have to do is go to our main js 
And what we have to do is create a new route. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna cre create a new object. I'm gonna start calling them route. I'm gonna create a new route. This is this is the path I would like to this to be the main like the entry point to our applications is. I would like that to be the to do app. Uh, the component is going to be the, the to do obviously, and I'm gonna call this to do. And let's go ahead and import that. I'm just gonna dictate this, call this to do, and get rid of the auth that I have at the end, like that. So if I do that, as you're gonna notice, I'm gonna get the yeah, I'm gonna get this. Now what I would like to do is not get the task list and options, just get the lists right here. And whenever I click on some on a list, I would like to get the list, the, the tasks of that list, and then get the options, you know, to sort whatever filter or, uh, you know, remove the list and all that. And to do that, what we're gonna have to do is go within our to-do component. As I said, the, we only want to have the lists and, the, and, they, and these are gonna be based on whatever list we click in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our to-do component. So let's go to that. And tasks and options bar, we're gonna get rid of those. And instead, I would like to, uh, to use the router view, which means because I would like to have something that looks like this. So when I do list slash one, it means that I'm selecting this list right here. So if I click on list slash one, it's going to take me to list slash one and it's going to display the tasks and the options. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, as I said, we're going to be using the router view. So let's go and do a router view like that. But if I just do it like this, it's not going to work. What I'm going to have to do is because as you can see, I have router view right here and I have router view on the, where is that? So I'm not really sure what, what kind of behavior we're going to get. So if I go to login, uh, I'm in the login page. So if I log in, so it doesn't seem to cause a problem right away. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, add two, uh, two attribute to this. Whenever we click on this, I would like to go to that URL that I just showed you. Now, to, uh, before we can do that, we have to create that URL. And to do that, we're going to be using the children option on our so i'm just gonna keep i'm gonna get rid of these of this right now because i'm gonna go back to it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on my to do i'm gonna because these are gonna be all relative to the base path that i have right here i'm gonna add the children option and this takes an array and, and this array is just basically an, a, an array of routes it's basically the same thing as this. All we have to do is we can even copy this and paste it right here. Obviously, we're gonna change some stuff. I would like this to be, for example, the list. And as I said, the parameter, which is gonna be either one to the ID of the list, that needs to be dynamic and to display, uh, and to do that, we have to use column ID like that, which means this ID is gonna be generated or it's gonna be a parameter, basically. This is a parameter. And the component that I would like to do is uh, to do, I got them. The component that I would like to that are attached to this I add to this route this path that I have right here is going to be this needs to be components and if you are going to use components you have to pass an object of components uh, this is the name of the component and the second is the second thing you gotta pass is the component itself which means tasks in my case and as you can notice we don't have that now the name let me just make that tasks. The name, uh, uh, not the name, the tasks uh, component is not imported yet. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do import tasks from tasks. No, nope, the component slash tasks like that. I didn't get any, please don't tell me. So tasks, I assume it's going to work. Yeah, it's not complaining about anything. Let me just check, see if I have any errors. And these are the console logs. Yeah, everything is building correctly. So it means that this is working. Now, these are the tasks. Now, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my lists. I would like to generate this ID that I have right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to lists.view and I'm gonna scroll down to the place where I was, you know, on each V list tile. What I'm gonna do, I would like for each one of these to be clickable. And what I'm gonna do is for each one, I'm gonna generate a route. And as you can notice right here, I just created this tasks route right here, as you can see this task. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is where I'm gonna show how you can use the, the name to generate that. And basically uh, what I'm gonna do is I would like, come on. 
I would like to redirect to the tasks uh, route, which is right here. I know it says, li it's, it says lists, but it, I'm gonna on click it. When we click on the list, we we get the the task that belongs to that list. So I hope that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we, the first thing we have to pass is the name of the route that we would like to redirect to. As I said, we would like to redirect to tasks, which means it's going to redirect us to this route right here. So tasks. And the second thing that we can pass is the parameters. And we can do params like this. And we have asked, uh, now, as you're going to notice, all of the, this is right now is just a string. And to make this an, an expression, we have to add the colon to the two, as you can see, the two attributes or directive so let's uh, let's give it some parameters the first thing we would like to give it uh, as, uh, as you're going to notice is the id so the parameters that we we define right here these are the names that we have to use right here so we're going to do id like that and where we're going to get the id from you guessed it each list has its own id uh, even though i messed up so i'm going to make some examples i'm going to make these two three four five and six just to show you this uh, that this is working and the id uh, as i said we're going to get that from the list dot id okay let's go ahead and see the first thing you're going to notice is these are now clickable as you can see when i hover over these you're going to notice that they are clickable that's because we added the two attributes and now when i click on these watch that the url is going to change as you can see it says list one list two list three and list four now, which uh, that means that this is working perfectly fine. So, as I said, whenever we click on one of uh, we click we click on one of these, I would like to display the tasks that belongs to this list and the options. So let's go ahead and do that. Why are these? So let me just see. Why are these blue? Nah, it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, I don't know what I went to the login page. What I would like to do is go to the lists and see what I got. So basically, no, I need to go to the to-do app. Sorry, I got, uh, got confused, got got distracted for a second. So we're gonna go to our uh, to our uh, component to-do component, and what I would like to do is define a router view right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that router view now as i said it's not gonna, so let me just show you if i just go ahead and click on this or let me just even refresh just show you that let me just get rid of that route if i click on one of these nothing is gonna happen what i need to do is tell that this view router right here is going to use the tasks component so what i have to do is use the uh, the name like that and on the name i need to specify tasks like this and that way it's going to use that so as you can see it's gonna so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of the notes model right here this is you know statically added what, I, what i'm gonna do is so let me just enough talking let's go to the tasks and notes model is right here i'm gonna get rid of that can i comment that out yeah i can make it common so i'm gonna reuse it as you can see whenever i click on so we have no uh, no tasks it's just a bunch of lists when i click on this it's going to display this and when i click on the second one obviously it's going to keep displaying this now one thing that i would like to do is i would like to show you if this is actually updating the correct one or not and it's not by default it's not going to update that so let me just go to the tasks and see if there's any way that i can demonstrate this one thing that we could do which is pretty amazing and uh, inside our tasks i'm going to do a console no not a console log but i'm going i would like to display the I would like to display the ID of the list that we are looking at right now. So what I'm going to do is inside uh, within the title, I would like to use, I'm going to use a computed property, uh, which is going to display that. And I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm going to create a do list ID like that. And I'm going to go to the bottom. As you can see, list ID does not exist right now. If I go to the console, I'm going to see an error. List ID does not exist. So I'm going to create a computed property. And if I can just find that. Uh, I haven't created any computed properties right now, so I'm gonna do computed right like that, and I'm gonna give it the same name. It looks like a function, but it's not a function. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do return this, and I can use route, and not router. We use the router to change between the URLs that we have within our application. I'm gonna use route dot params 
which is going to give me the params. So it's gonna check this current URL. And if I have any params, I can use dot params like that dot id which is going to give me uh, the id of that param as you can see right here i get list id 2 if i click on one i get list one and uh, so far so far as you can see this is working properly what i'm trying to was what i was going to add there what i was trying to say is that it's going to update on each one of these and even if it did not re-update so basically one thing that you're going to notice that when you make an ajax request it's not going to re uh uh what it's called remount the components now going to update it in order for for view to do that you have to make it specific you have to tell it, to tell it that this is kind of a completely new a completely new component and to do that what you have to do you have to add the key to to your you uh, to, to your router view and the key that you would like to pass is whatever is something unique in my case i'm gonna pass route dot forward path because I know the path is going to be slash one slash two, it's gonna be unique to each one of these lists. Lists, lists. So if I do that, as you can see, I get the same thing. Three, uh, three, uh, one, two, three, four, so far, so on. So this is working fine. Now, one thing that I would like to do is I would like to display the, the options bar. Now I can do the same thing. I can make that a router view if I would like to. But one thing that I, that I would like to save this to is to the view x stuff when we're gonna manage some state and we're gonna manage some some ui state using that we're not gonna use events whatever we're gonna use view x because it's it's extremely easy to use ux to handle that state of the ui uh, and uh, why did i, uh, I didn't want to include that right here because it's uh, it doesn't have a route and i don't want to include it in the tasks so as you can see, it's gonna, yeah, there's kind of some confusion right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that to the end. When we talk about the view X, we're gonna handle some state. We're gonna handle a lot of state. We're gonna start with the UI and then we're gonna get to the, you know, about interacting with the API and all that. So let's continue our journey. We would like to, to whenever whenever we click on, on these, we would like to display something specific to that task. The notes model is going to be displayed and we can do a bunch of stuff and to do that obviously first we're gonna have to create the route that corresponds to that so basically when we click on something like this what i want to have is slash tasks slash one or task slash one this means that this is the first uh if i click on this i should get something like this because i would, I would like to use the history function of course uh, to display this you know so clicking on this, which will give us this URL right here. Now, as you can see, this is relative to the list ID. Now to create this, I'm gonna show you something nice is inside our main.js, we have few, we first have to create a route. Now, as, you, as I told you, this children uh, uh, route that is, uh, you know, right here. I don't know what I cannot speak. It's the same one as the parent that it's within it. So if I want to just go ahead and create a child that is relative to a route that is relative to that, all I have to do is specify the children. So you can do children like that and give it an array of route. Let's go ahead and do, let's just copy this. That's our boilerplate. And it seems like I have made a mistake. Yeah, let me just get rid of these. Yeah, like that. And all we have to do is give it like so in this case, it's going to be task slash the ID of that task. So I'm going to just call this task ID because the first one is ID and I cannot give this uh, the second one, you know, the same parameter name. It's just going to get confused. The uh, the component that we're going to uh, we, we would like to to mount whenever we hit that. So the component that is attached to this route is going to be the notes model hopefully this is not confusing you i know it says tasks but task and and this says notes but this this is like this makes sense in my mind i hope it makes sense in yours too so we're gonna import the notes model from component and notes model like that let's see do we have any errors we don't have any errors now let's go ahead so inside our task.view it seems like whenever we click on something it gives me one let me just see where is that coming from task.view uh yep that's on the toggle so that's completely fine it doesn't matter so one thing that i that, that probably you would like uh, you are probably thinking about so since we have a button we're going to use two like that and all we're going to do is we're going to tell it to use notes or 
I don't know, since we, we have a parameter, maybe we can do something like this. Maybe we can do name, and we're going to give it notes or tasks. What the hell do we call it? Yeah, it's notes. Uh, notes, not tasks. So notes, and the second thing is the params. And what I would like to pass is two things. I would like to give it the task ID right here. And since we have the task right here, uh, all, I got, all I have to do is task.id since uh, probably it has an ID. Now, if I go ahead and as you can see it right away, you're going to notice a problem. So let me just see what is this missing param for name, route, notes, expected task ID to be defined. Yeah, that's because I forgot to include this right in our object, task ID like that and this should be gone so let me just refresh just so you can see it yeah we no longer have that warning so that is something extremely important you have to pass the correct name of the id that you defined uh, of the parameter that you defined and in this case what i'm going to do is if i click on this notice something it's going to stay clicked everything is going to stay clicked that's i assume because uh, now let me not worry about that but basically as you can see it's going to keep uh, it's going to be clicked and that's the default behavior because once you use the two it means that you are redirected to this this uh, to this route which means that this is you know this is what you would expect from something like this now to do that what we have to do is we have to hack a little bit around it we're not going to be using the to do uh, the two uh, directives since we are using the come on not everything just this uh, because we are using a model and it's not necessarily redirecting to the model it's just displaying it and it's gonna you know we can just close it right away so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a click e event uh, a click handler we're gonna do click and whenever we click we would like to like open the model or something and open model do we want to pass something to this yeah for now we're not gonna pass anything let's just if we need to we would we're gonna go back and do that so below the toggle function which is absolutely useless what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the open model function and within that what we're gonna use is we're gonna use like before we're gonna use the this router dot router dot push and I would like to push to the component with the name notes And I would like to generate some stuff, some uh, parameters. We're going to pass params like that. And the first one is going to be task ID. And the task ID is something we're going to get from this dot task dot ID. Now, one thing that I'm task dot ID. One thing that I'm uh, concerned about is I don't think each task has an ID. What I'm going to do is I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my tasks what I created all the the lists and all that so where's where are my lists mm, where are the tasks so where am i getting these tasks these tasks from? where are my tasks so these are the tasks uh, this is completely yeah 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 this is it so each one has the id of one what i would like to do is give these different ids ramadan is hard five six seven eight nine no ten so just ten for now just for the sake of the example so as you're going to notice right now when i'm going to click on this right away it's going to give me zero uh, so it's not giving me anything that's because it's one two three so it's gonna take like a second yeah that's basically because it's redirecting i guess and one thing that I noticed, it's 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 redirecting to the wrong place. This is not what I was expecting. I was expecting list slash the ID of the list slash task slash. So let me just see what is going on. I'm gonna go back to my task dot view. Uh, this is looking fine. This is what I expecting. The name, the params, task ID, this task no ID. I'm gonna go to the main dot js. I would like to see what this is about yeah that's the expected behavior because i usually use components with an s and i pass notes right here and yeah that is completely expected since i messed up that was my bad so notes i gotta give it a name of the component obviously notes model is the name of the uh, you know the name of the component right here uh, if I go back and do so, let me just get rid of this and refresh everything. So I have nothing. When I click on this, I, I have to see list slash one, 
and that's what I see when I click on this I should see list slash one slash task slash one no that is not what I what I'm getting and that's perfectly fine because look what I'm using I'm telling it to go back it's not going to be relative to this I need to get rid of this in order for this to be relative to this sorry that was my bad and this is not causing a problem right here because we are already at the route so if we would like to make this more uh, looking more nice we would got, we'd like to you know we're gonna have to and I would like to we're gonna have to get rid of this and yeah it's gonna work now i'm pretty sure it's gonna work sorry that was my bad so if i click on this and i click on this as you can see list slash one slash task slash one but the mo most important thing is not happening so i just waste everybody's time we would like to display the model so let's go ahead and do that right away as you remember what i had is on each task we had the notes just sitting below uh, let me, uh, i don't know what am i pointing right here in my tasks dot view component we had this uh, where's that so i had my notes model right here as you're gonna notice if i just wait it's gonna refresh it's gonna display so this is what i have right now so basically what we have to do is since this is a route what i would like to do is i don't know this this is coming back again i'm gonna have to deal with this soon or later so notes model this is going to be a router view as well and we're going to give it a name of notes because we're going to display notes right there so all we're going to do is router view just like usual uh, as i said if you want to re-update the component each time you click on it or you i don't know use it whatever you want to call it you're going to have to use the key because the uh, the component only updates when it's uh, remounts when it's uh, you know when you ask for it so basically this has to be unique and to be for in order for this to be unique you have to give it the key and i'm going to do route star dot full path like that and this is not everything we need we need the most important thing which is the name and the name we're going to tell it to use the notes because we would like to display notes at that place now notice what is going to whoa whoa custom element router view router view not router view router view router view like that let's refresh just to get rid of that and i'm going to show you that this is working fine so by default it should not do that so let's get rid of this come on can i get rid of that when i click on a list i'm not going to get the model when i click on this task right here on this edit button you're going to see i'm going to get the notes model right here now uh, you're going to notice that it's slow it's uh, it's a slow animation that's because i'm recording and it's uh, my computer is not the fastest in the world so uh yeah uh, as you can see if i get rid of that if i close the model uh, there's no longer the hover you know like this effect no longer and i can click on the second one it's not gonna op uh, it's gonna open the model and so far so as you can see it is working that's basically what i wanted to say and that's pretty much it i think that's pretty much all i wanted to cover for the routes section as you can see we have uh, made some routes and all that everything is basically looking fine the routes uh, the options uh column or whatever you uh, whatever you want to call it right here that we have right here as i said i'm going to leave that to the state management section when we get to that i'm going to start i'm going to show you we, we're going to handle the state of the ui first because we're going to have a module called ui uh, which is going to handle a bunch of stuff for us and that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to cover for this section so i'll see you guys in the next one we're going to start uh, doing some more important stuff and basically i think we're going to start talking to the ui to the back end to the api we're gonna start doing that and uh, yeah so see you guys in the next one